Big Audio Dynamite, Big Audio Dynamite, later known as Big Audio Dynamite 2 and Big Audio, and often abbreviated BAD, are an English band formed in London in 1984 by Mick Jones, the former lead guitarist of The Clash. The band is noted for its effective mixture of varied musical styles, incorporating elements of punk rock, dance music, hip-hop, reggae, and funk. Big Audio Dynamite's one constant throughout frequent shifts in membership and musical direction is the vocals' prophet Ed B. McJones. After releasing a number of well-received albums and touring extensively throughout the 1980s and 1990s, Big Audio Dynamite broke up in 1997. In 2011, the band embarked on a reunion tour. After being fired from The Clash in 1983 and following a brief stint with the band general public, Mick Jones formed a new band called Top Risk Action Company TREC. He recruited bassist Leo Ezekiel Williams, saxophonist John Boy Leonard, from Theater of Hate, and former Clash drummer Nicky Topper Hedon. Hedon was quickly sacked for his heroin addiction and Leonard either left or was fired and the band folded. Although the band released no material, only demos were recorded which have yet to be officially released. T.R.A.C. can be seen as a forerunner to Big Audio Dynamite in much the same way London SS can be seen as an early incarnation of the Clash. Jones then formed Big Audio Dynamite with film director Don Letts, maker of the punk rock movie, various Clash music videos, and later the Clash documentary, bassist Leah Williams, from TRAC, drummer Greg Roberts, and keyboardist Dan Donovan. In 1985 the band's debut, This Is Big Audio Dynamite was released. The album's cover shows the band as a four-piece, minus Donovan who took and designed the photo. In 2016 This Is Big Audio Dynamite was reissued on vinyl for the first time, with the album being mastered using analog tapes and pressed on 180-gram vinyl. 1986's number 10, Upping Street reunited Jones for one last album with former Clash lyricist and lead vocalist Joe's drummer, who was credited with co-producing the album and co-writing of five of its nine tracks. The cover painting, based on a still taken from the Brian De Palma film Scarface, was painted by Tim Jones. Bad supported U2 on their 1987 world tour, then released 1988's Tighten Up Volume 88 and 1989's Megatop Phoenix. Tighten Up, Volume 88 contained just play music, which was the second number one single on Billboard's Modern Rock Tracks chart. The band also recorded an unreleased track called Keep Off the Grass, which was a rock style instrumental of the theme to the classic Western film, The Magnificent Seven. A promo video can be seen on YouTube. In 1990, the original lineup wrote and recorded the song Free for the soundtrack to the adventure comedy film Flashback. This would be the final song written with the original lineup, as the band would break up shortly after. The bottom line from the band's first album was remixed and used as the title track for Flashback. However, this track was not included on the soundtrack. It can be found on the 12 inches or by download. Later in 1990, Mick Jones debuted Big Audio Dynamite 2 and released the UK only album Kool Aid. Dan Donovan remained in Bad 2 for one song, a reworking of the final Bad track free renamed Kickin' In. For 1991's The Globe, only Jones remained from the original incarnation of Big Audio Dynamite, and the band was now called Big Audio Dynamite 2. This new lineup featured two guitarists. The Globe featured the band's most commercially successful single, Rush, which hit number one on both the US Modern Rock Tracks chart and the Australian National Aria chart. Innocent Child and The Globe were also released as singles. Bad supported U2 on their Zoo TV tour. Headline the MTV 120 Minutes Tour which also featured Public Image Limited, Live, and Blind Melon, and released the live EP on the road Live 92. In 1993, Greg Roberts formed the electronic band Dreadzone with Tim Bran, with the name suggested to them by Don Letts. Leo Williams and Dan Donovan joined the band before their second album Second Light and the single Little Britain in 1995. Dreadzone is still active, with Roberts and Williams remaining members. The band later recruited keyboardist Andre Shapps, co-producer of The Globe and Mick Jones's cousin, and Michael DJ Zonka Custance as DJ and vocalist. Both appeared on the band's 1994 album Higher Power, which was released under the shortened name Big Audio. After signing a recording contract with Gary Kerfirst's Radioactive Records in 1995, the band reverted to the original Big Audio Dynamite moniker and released their least successful album to date, F-Punk. Radioactive Records refused to release the next proposed Bad album, entering a new ride. The lineup contained MC vocals by Joe Addard of Punk's Jump Up, 
ranking Roger of the Beat and General Public and drummer Bob Wand of Under Two Flags. In 1998, the band launched a new website, primarily as a means to distribute songs from the Entering a New Ride album. Since 2005, Jones has been working on a project with Tony James, ex-member of Generation X and CK CK Sputnik, called Carbon Slash Silicon. In early 2007, a Bad to Live DVD was released. In 2010, Don Letts revealed to Billboard.com that he and Mick Jones broached the idea of a big audio dynamite reunion in 2011. He explained, I could lie to you and say not in a million years, but if Mick wasn't tied up with gorillas it might happen this year. Jones has looked at me and said, maybe next year, but who knows. I've got to admit that in the past I'm not a great one for reformations, I always think if you're lucky in life, you get a window of opportunity, use it to the best of your ability and then fuck off and let someone else have their turned out but here I am 25 years down the line considering the thing. Besides a big audio dynamite reunion, Let's said he was also hopeful for more legacy editions off the band's albums after finding more unreleased material, including live recordings, in the vaults. There's definitely more stuff, whether Sony thinks it's worthwhile, that's another matter. But there seems to be a lot of respect for Big Audio Dynamite. Time has shown that a lot of the things we were dabbling in back then have come to manifest themselves today, so hopefully we'll get to do some more. The reformation of the original lineup of Bad was confirmed on January 25, 2011 with the announcement of a UK tour. The nine-day tour was a commercial and critical success. The first of their two sold-out Shepherd's Bush Empire shows received a four-star review in The Times, not just a reformation, this is their time, the Observer welcomed Bad's return with a glowing review declaring, they remain a joy. News of the World awarded their Manchester Academy show a five-star review and proclaimed, easily the reformation of the year apostrophe. Their headline slot at Beautiful Days Festival was favorably reviewed on the Louder Than War Music website. Big Audio Dynamite played sets at the 2011 Outside Lands Music and Arts Festival, Coachella Valley Music, and Arts Festival, Glastonbury Festival 2011, and Lollapalooza. Big Audio Dynamite, 1984-1990 2011 present. Big Audio Dynamite 2, 1990 1993. Big Audio, 1994 1995. Big Audio Dynamite, 1996 1998. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.